Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson, formerly the baddest man on the planet. You know the flurry is coming. He'll throw uppercuts and hooks, use that signature peekaboo style and get inside. On the other side, look for his opponent to try to take him down and neutralize the striking game of Mike Tyson. If you can't get him to the canvas, you're likely in for a short night at the office. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. He is going after that overhand right. You gotta be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh man, John, they're trading early. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. So more output, at least in the early going. Whiffs on the elbow. Ooh, the head kick lands. Straight right hand counter, useful. And they get to the clinch. Guys, look for him to find an option. He's got multiple, he's got takedowns, he's got slams, he's got throws. He's got all his weapons available to him. Look for him to advance to the next position. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Tyson gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. There's that body shot. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Hook in the clinch there is good by Tyson. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Keep pushing, keep oh, big elbow. Big shot lands for both guys. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just a... Uh... Oh, he's in real trouble now. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Clean punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot and got defended. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Head off the center line, slips the punch. He's bobbling now. Oh, nice body shot. 
Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Collar tie here in the clinch. He's not okay. He's not okay. Final seconds of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Our right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively, or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring, and every time his opponent's going right up under and landing, right to the body. He's got to do something different right now or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, one got through. That hit was good. Oh! Oh, he might get finished here. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll... He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That he did. Great job. Oh, big left hook there. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. So you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? That was a big check. Try to establish that jab. Taking a lot of fighting shots as well. 
Under a minute to go in round two. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the ball. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. 15 seconds to go. Oh, nice straight there by Tyson. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Number two. Great work last round. Keep that pace up. Wow, I'm impressed. I want you to keep pushing. Keep breaking this guy down. And keep changing up your strikes. You're too All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of strike? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Ready. Ready. Third Go. round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just opened up on his forehead. Oh, he's in trouble. Nice combination. Left hook, right hand. Straight right hand, no good. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. Watch these to the body. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. They're so evenly matched. They're so oh! oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Under three minutes now to go in round three. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? Slips to avoid the right. Nice execution on the team. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Left hook counter. He fought with so much intensity early that he looks like he's starting to get a little tired. Two minutes now to play this one. It's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and now an uppercut. Keep your hands up. Your hands up. Look to the head there by Tyson. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big left hand. Oh, my goodness. He's hurting him bad, man. 
man, that right hook is nasty. Back and forth we go. Just misses with that one. Oh, oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Give me the takedown. Nice punch lands over the top. Not there. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Man has his chin been tested early. Left. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Good block there. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Touches him with that left punch. 15 seconds. Tyson gets hit with a kick. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the 